Hi guys, uh, it's me. I just wanted to show you my new, uh, Vietnam loadout. Um, it's, it's not done at all. Uh, it's just the stuff that I just happened to, uh, get and find for this video. Um, I ordered a M1 Steel Pot helmet with the, uh, Mitchell pattern cover and the original helmet liner. Which is coming either, let's see, yeah, it's, it's probably coming, uh, next week. So, uh, I make a, a couple new videos every week, so just stay tuned for that. I'll probably do a review on that. Um, this is my, uh, Vietnam gear as of now. Uh, about, let's see, 75 to 80 of what percent of it is original. Um, let's get started. Uh, let's see, on my webbing, you know, this is my web gear. Um, this is a, uh, just not Vietnam, it's not a reproduction. It's just some belt I found on Amazon, and it was, like, really late at night when I ordered it. And I just wanted to get everything bought, so I just bought this, and I wasn't thinking. Uh, so I just got this, I'll probably sell it and buy an M1956 uh, <laughs> pistol belt soon, uh, so just, yeah, um, here are my M1956 suspenders, these are reproduction, but they do a really nice job of, of mimicking, uh, real Vietnam suspenders, these are the H-strap ones, I believe, because of the yeah, because of these, um, let's see, I have them adjusted to my size, um, this is my reproduction shoulder flashlight, which, as of now, I have the red lens in it, uh, as, as you guys probably know, it has the, uh, cap right here, which unscrews and has more lenses in it, uh, it has the see yeah uh here's the one for the morse code if you can see that and just there there's a button right here and and uh, a clip i have attached onto my suspenders there if you can see yeah you you probably can't see that um and then there's on um let's see uh this is my not original, but, uh, military surplus, uh, let's see, 1993 canteen, uh, the canteen is dated 89, and the cover is dated, uh, oops, sorry about that, 93, um, yeah, it's, it's just, a, a typical plastic OD green canteen with the OD green cover, I just, uh, I just wanted them to keep it, uh, to save money, and it's, it's not, like, too bad, oh, like, like, this belt buckle, I mean, this belt buckle is like, oh my gosh, that is so not original for Vietnam, so I'm gonna replace that, um, here's my butt pack, um, I bought this a couple of days ago, it's original, M1956 with OD green, uh, it has initials, but, uh, they're kind of hard to see because it's really old. The lady I bought it from said it was from the uh, World War II. But here, I'm, I'm just going to open it really quick. Yeah, here's my, uh, butt pack. It's all original. If, if you can see those initials, O, W, H, um, and here's the fill pack canvas M1956, November 66, contract number, and, and all that good stuff. Uh, in my butt pack, I have first aid kit, um, just your typical stuff, 
Uh, I'm trying to find a original one for a good price on eBay, which I apparently can't because people really like medic kits from them. Um, so here's the contents of, of my book pack. Uh, I have a inert uh, M M16 round here. Um, it's uh, inert because I, I I drilled some holes in it all around, and it doesn't have a primer in it. It's just just a hole. Uh, it, it does have a bullet. It is a 5.56 full metal jacket, just like they use in Vietnam. Um, yeah, I'm gonna actually put this in my helmet band af after I get my helmet, so. Um, here's just a random patch I found, which I, I might put on my, uh, OG 107, uh, in jungle, jungle uniform. It's just the A5 patch. I, I don't think I will, though. I'll probably buy a, a, a subdued one. Uh, let's see, just a, a candy pack of cigarettes, which I'll probably put in my helmet band too. It's it's just filled with some newspaper. Um, yeah, it's pretty much empty. Uh, duct tape. Everybody needs that. And my uh, medic kit, which I made. Um, this is no, actually, this is one of my friends. Oops. Um, if I can open it, here we go, uh, it's just, uh, a couple gauze pads, some, some soap, some, just bug stuff, some, yeah, some sterile eye pads, some band-aids, um, yeah, just normal butt pack stuff. Um, uh, also I have a couple extra pairs of socks, because everybody knows that you really need extra, extra socks in Vietnam. Like, if you don't, you'll die. So, uh, let's see. Up next is my, uh, I'm just gonna move it a little bit. Up next is my OG 107, uh, jungle uniform. Um, it's all original. It has the, where the, where your, uh, army tape would have gone. Or Marines, or Air Force, or Navy, or who, whoever you were then. It's in really nice shape. Ah, here's the name patch. I mean the name tape. Uh, the uh, uh, the uh, residue left behind it. Uh, it actually has a, a cut out where the oops, where the patch used to be. Uh, if anyone can tell me what this patch was, I, I know there were a lot of patches like this. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry about that. I just want to move it around here. Okay. If anyone can tell me what they think that is, it's sort of an oval. Uh, but it's, 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 uh, like a shield. So if anybody can tell me what that patch is in the comments below, that would be great. Um, yeah, that's my jungle sateen uniform. Uh, the tag is in here some, oh, here it is, the tag is in here, uh, shirt, man's cotton, cause you can barely read that, uh, sateen OG 107, um, same on my pants, over here, they're pretty much the exact same thing, except, you know, they're pants, and they're a little bit big on me, so that's why I usually wear two belts with it, um, yeah, I guess that's about it for my jungle loadout. Uh, this is all first pattern stuff. Um, once I get my helmet in the mail, I'll be doing a review on that. Uh, please subscribe and comment. Bye.